What up, two time gang? It's your boy, Two Time Moto TV, and we back with another epic video, man. Um, I'm gonna start this video off, man, by letting you know that my car is still in the shop. But this video will entail for me getting the car out, me getting the car out on the wheels, how the wheels look now, how the car is sitting with the 400 some plus horsepower. Um, I do got to get a tune. So in this video, the car is going to be without a tune. It's going to probably sound like crap. It's still on 87 pump gas. It's supposed to be up on a 93 tune with this setup. So I got the tuner guy that's going to set me up with an SCT tune. And that's going to get me right, guys. So he's going to get my shift point straight. Uh, he gonna mess around with my 14 gears. He gonna mess around with the whole thing. Give me a 93 octane tune, the whole nine guys. So yeah, I'll be pushing about uh, about 430, 440 uh, horsepower, not to the wheels, but to the crank. So we're looking at about 370, 380 horsepower to the wheels, hopefully, um, with everything else that I'm gonna get done. But yeah, the tune is gonna be the big part. But yeah, guys, I want y'all to take a look at the wheels. Look at what I did, look at what I did, man. I finally put the vinyl tips on it. So you guys hear me out. As you guys can see, I spaced the vinyl out. So that's a vinyl tip. That's a vinyl tip. Vinyl. Vinyl. So I skipped one and left it like the alloy look. Because it's kind of a chrome looking look. I still got chrome pipes on the car. So that accent that I try to accent everything that I got on the car and not have one thing just standing out and just looking crazy. So uh, I got two wheels done. I think that they turned out very nice, guys very nice so you can tell the one that's not done because it got the black like on the side and then alloy on the top this one got the full uh flip-flop white and that's what the whole wheel look like right there these are 28 inch rims for you guys that are new to the channel and the other two rims at the shop i'm about to go pick those up right now i'm about to drop these two off so i ain't carrying a full thing of 28s in a car um, I don't even think that's possible. It may be possible, you know, if I slide over a little bit, stick a rim right up in the middle and let it ride, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But yeah, man, uh, that's what we got so far. I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, the next update and whatever in this video of uh, me getting the car and thinking about my impressions right now, man. I know it's going to sound like trash because of that cam and it doesn't have a tune and it's going to probably want to stall because of the cams. But yeah, man, we're looking at 400 some horsepower when it's all said and done. So this is going to probably be part one of the 400 some plus uh, power horse, horsepower uh, Crown Victoria on 28 inch rims. So yeah, man, you guys stay tuned. Oh, guys, and by the way, uh, if y'all was wondering how I did the vinyl tips on the rims, I just measured the tips on the rims and then I cut the piece of vinyl and uh, I just made sure that I got a nice clean surface. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm not doing every spoke. I'm doing every other spoke because there are 12 spokes. So six are vinyl wrap and six are the uh, alloy. And um, yeah, I just measured it and I got a bunch of them like this, as you guys can see. And then I stretch it over it. Sometimes I got to use a heat gun to get the bubbles out. Sometimes I don't. And yeah, man, that's about it. So this is the other set of rims right here that I just got from the performance shop. And uh, I already took the other two up there. So I'll be taking these two up there tomorrow. All right, gang, so we are back home with the car. We got a lot to talk about. Um, I really don't even know where to start, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna start somewhere. And if it sounds like that I'm going back and forth, then you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, but it is a lot to talk about. So the car is back home. Everything is done with the uh, Trick Flow top end kit, along with the cams. It actually sounds pretty good, but I do have an exhaust leak. Um, they tried to put my exhaust back the way it was, but it was so twisted that I just told them just to leave it like that. I was just ready to bring the car home. <clears throat> I got <clears throat> Cook, Cook's headers <clears throat> on the way. So Cook's headers and Cook's catback system. So uh, they are long tube headers. And then they do have the two cats, uh, high flow performance cats. And then uh, I'm just gonna stick my mufflers right behind that. I'm just gonna delete my tips all together. I want the maximum flow with the exhaust system so that's on order right now and i didn't get it tuned yet simple fact is because i'm waiting to get that in um also i ordered a 78 millimeter throttle body bbk so uh i'm gonna get down with that so i'm gonna get all of that stuff done in the next two weeks that's when the shipment will be in and um 
then I will go get it tuned. But right now the car runs like trash because I don't have a tune on it. My stock computer or my stock ECU system is still trying to read stock performance, which I don't no longer have any stock performance parts on it. Like I said, <clears throat> the whole top end kit has been replaced. Also with the rear ring and pinion gears, as y'all see, these are my old gears here. They are the 355s that came out of it. Had no clue I had 355s in the rear, but I rock with them 410s, man. Them 410s, like, they pull so strong, I can already tell it with the car. But I'm going to give you guys driving footage of when I do get the car back. I don't want to do any driving footage now, but I will start the car up, let y'all hear how it sound. Uh, just mind you that the car isn't performing like it should, so... You know, the sound that you're getting right now is not the sound that's going to be in the next two weeks when I get those Cook's headers back. So these are all of my old parts. So y'all can see all of my old hardware, my old timing chain, old spark plugs. I did take the Platinums out and I went Iridiums. I will put Iridiums in all of my vehicles. Uh, I can just tell the timing of the spark and everything with that as well. Everything put together well. Uh, from the performance shop, man. I just know that everything that I bought is actually doing what it's supposed to do I just got to open up my uh, exhaust manifold <clears throat> Because it's so it's so restricted on the screen right here. You guys can see uh, the Crown Vic uh, Headers and they are so restricted man so small that I'm not getting no maximum flow out So it's trying to bring new in when it still got old in the system so Here's my old top end, my old heads, my old cams. Rather dirty. And guys, these ring and pinion gears does not look bad at all, man. So my rims are not tearing my gears up or my rear end up for those guys who would think that. Look at that. She still got the still got the newness on her, man. So what I got on the screen here is a little bit of the process of the top end getting torn down and put back together. So yeah. Up and coming is the 78 millimeter throttle body. I do want to go with the Steeda underdrive pulleys as well, but I probably won't do that this go round. And uh, there will be another surprise as soon as I get the car back out. I got something else on order that I'm gonna get installed as well. So you guys wait to the end of the video to hear what that's gonna be, and that's gonna live in the car up a lot. But yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna set the camera up for you guys, man. Oh, and this is how the rims turned out. I forgot to tell y'all. Which they kind of dirty right now. I haven't cleaned them or nothing. So, as y'all can see, I got six of the white tips and six aluminum tips. It looks real good going down the road. I let my wife drive it, and it actually looks really good, man. It even looked good sitting here. I don't know if I want to go ahead and do all of the tips white. You guys let me know in the comments below if y'all feeling this look right here. The only reason why I went with the six alloy is because I still got an alloy lip. And then I got these chrome tips, but they will be deleted. I won't uh, have any more tips on the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up for y'all, man, and give y'all a little cold start. Let y'all hear how the trash sounds at the moment, cause it don't have a tune and it needs some headers, so. But it's not that bad, man. I've heard worse. I get those headers man it's gonna sound 10 times better and two i got that horrible exhaust leak on the driver's side that i'm gonna get taken care of as well but man just 
sitting here, man, you can hear her loafing. And then when the car warms up, you can actually hear her dial down with the loaf, like, like it's a real heavy loaf then. But you guys can hear this exhaust leak. Yeah, man, but um, so far so good, guys. I'm happy with what they done. I'm happy with what's to come. Um, also, I can't drive the car over 60 and I can't get on it yet because of the rear end gears. I gotta have 500 break-in miles on it. Right now, I'm probably at like 75 to 100. Uh, I've been calculating it or dialed it in in the car, so uh, I know how many more miles I got to go. But guys, it don't sound bad at all. And I'm also not gonna rev it because everything is fairly, you know, still fairly new. But I am gonna get the car dyno tuned as well. So the guy's gonna put it on the dyno after he tune it. I went with the SCT 93 octane tune. Um, it's pretty pricey, but uh, it's what the car calls for and it's the best tune out there for these 4.6 two valve modular engines. And man, as soon as I get done with that, with the Cook's headers, the 78 millimeter throttle body, and uh, maybe Steeder pulleys. Yo, this car is gonna be an animal, man. Like I said, I already like how it sounds, but those headers are so restrictive. That's not gonna be how it's gonna sound when I bring it out, because also I got the high flow cats that I'm getting. It's the whole cat back system. But yeah, man. Uh, told you guys to wait to the end of the video also got something else coming But you guys got to stay tuned to know uh, What that part is and how that part works, but just know This right here is going to be deleted all together I'm gonna be able to shift this automatic transmission So I, I'm gonna be able to put it in sport mode and be able to bump shift my transmission and no, it's not like how the newer cars are where you want to put it in the plus or minus and then sometimes it shifts by itself. It's nothing like that. I'm going to be able to control all of my shifts, all four gears, which is actually three, but you got one, two, and three, then you got uh, overdrive. So I'll be able to take overdrive on and off if I want to and be able to shift in the full. So um, yeah, man, that's to come. So you guys stay tuned for the next video. Sorry if I was stumbling over, you know, all of this stuff, but it's so much on my mind right now that I had to tell you guys what's to come, what's been done, and everything, man. So, appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Two Time Moto TV out. Y'all make sure y'all hit that sub button. Drop them likes, man, so we can get these vids up. And so this channel can grow, so we can do more stuff like this, and I can bring you guys more content of what it takes, how much it costs, whether it was worth it or not at the end of the day you know what i'm saying so yeah man two-time moto tv out man until next time peace